We're live and early, but I think we're live. I'm I'm almost 100% sure we're live. I could be wrong. Bowie, don't do it. Here, come here. What's up, Kayla? So, when I was younger, like a child, um, my parents always got us, like me and my sister, two of everything because we would steal each other's stuff and that would just be that, you know? So I thought, being the mother of two that I am, that I would just get two of everything and then they wouldn't fight over it. They corrected me. Bowie? Come here. That one's yours right here. I finally found a, like a chew toy thing that Cujo will eat, and it's probably because it's like a derivative of cheese. Bowie? Uh uh. Come here. And it's Himalayan yak something chew. It looks like looks like this. And it's apparently yak's milk cheese. The toy that never falls over. And. Bowie loves his, but he also wants Cujo's, and Cujo's not having it, so you may hear some rumbles and grumbles in the background. Rumbles and grumbles. Hi, Lisa. Hey, y'all. 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 <laughs> Bowie, stop trying to take his shit, man. Like, I'm super pumped that Cujo finally has a chew toy that he likes, and now Bowie's like, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bowie, <laughs> Bowie, stop. Eat yours. Apologies in advance for the melee that's happening in the background. No, it's okay. Just calm down. I may just have to move him with his... Doesn't matter, Bowie would be right behind him anyways. It's like, Bowie, why don't you... Here, come over here. Bowie, look what I got. See, I would just let them, like, figure it out. But then I read another school of thought that was like, don't do that, you're supposed to be the alpha, and you set the tone. I'm the alpha. Also, since Cujo's heart condition, um, his heart rate doesn't need to get up that high, and if he's like defending his cheese stick, then he starts to cough. There you go. You got it, you got it, right? Anyways. In your ball pit. They do fight like kids. It's insane. Shelly, what does Caesar say? I haven't checked his opinion on it yet. I'm sure he has one. Bowie! You know he's not going to stay over there. At least he's chewing on his... Nope. No. Bowie, what's that? What's Here, this? I'm going to just put it on this fence. He's got a line. I gave him a cup. I gotcha. <laughs> Cup, he's absolutely distracted from everything happening in the world. I feel like I'm blurry a little bit. I'll fix that. I'll fix that in a minute. Anyways, so tonight, um, hey JJ. I'm trying out some new news from Just Resin. These are Bermuda Bay 
can't read that. I don't know why I even did it. Yellow fluorescent and deep magenta. All of these are from just resin and they are all flat so they don't have any shimmer, metallic or whatever. I do have a couple of these left on the website. I think that was from earlier. Yes, I do have a hot date tonight with this palm wrangler back here. Come on. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Doris Bowie is exactly that. Also, he is a Houdini. So even though Jeff is trying to like put him up, he will find a way. He'll either go under it, over it, or through it. He's Bowie Houdini. He loves that Beyonce fan. And he does love his Beyonce fan. If you guys haven't seen him with his Beyonce fan, check out our snare chart. Oh, so tonight I'm gonna try a negative space piece, but one that's different from my normal ones. It looks kind of like the magenta and yellow and orange one that I did not too long ago. I wanna have just all of the movement in the center of the piece, which is why I'm using a canvas that I have prepped. Y'all hear that? That's what, that's what you want is that drum sound. Um, I tightened it by spritzing the back with water, heat gun till it's dry, and then I sanded and gesso the front. Where's the palm wrangler taking you? I have no idea. My cat got attacked by a possum last night. Hopefully she'll never try to eat one again. She's pretty scratched up. Listen, y'all's possums and our opossums are two totally different creatures. So when I hear about a possum attack, I think about, hey, I'll see if I can find one to show you guys what I'm talking about. But y'all's possum looks like a little teddy bear. Yes, I use spray gesso. Mike, it was Mike B that guessed it right, right? I don't know if that was the same. There's Mike, what was your guess? on the thing. Anyways, cue stripper music. So I am on a few screens and it is encroaching on my this, but um, what? it's gotten darker since I set it up. Right, so you did guess it right. You were the first to guess it right, Mike. Mm. Did you hear that sadness? Yes. Where's your cup? Go get your cup. Oh, go get your cup. I, I sour cream, I totally cup. get it and yes. understand. But it. when we were up there and someone was like, there's a possum over the door, I was like, I'm not going in your house ever again if there's a possum near the door. But then I saw how cute it was, and then I wanted to cuddle it until I saw fangs and claws and the tail. And I was like, yep, it is kind of the serum. Anyways, Mike, uh, shoot me an email so I can figure out what your prize is and send it to you. Or I might just make it a gift card. That was kind of like we decided to do that challenge. See if you guys are paying attention. Like, but we decided to do it like as we clicked stream, so. There, hey, with me. Here. You hand feed your possums? Nope, I would never do that to the ones that are here. Uh, before the end of the thing, I'll see if I can find a photo of what our possums look like and put it on the thing. Oh, so the reason why I'm using a canvas tonight instead of a board oh. is that um <laughs> I don't mind if it kind of dips in the middle focus I don't mind if it kind of dips in the middle because it'll just accentuate the <coughs> negative space if it goes this way instead of this way don't you dare. <laughs> Anyways, sippy sippy for a date night, y'all. Right 
I gave up <laughs> counting after 100 and just guessed Jess. I, hey! I guess that, that Jeff used the <laughs> Dallas area code. Stop. I'm going to have to give it something to focus on. There we go. Please, you don't have to eat what he's eating. I know, Moose. Go lay down. Oh, nope, you already have one. I don't even know where his one is. It's in the front room. No. Moose's not even interested in that. I know, just let him have it. He'll leave Moose alone. So, um, I started mixing this before the feed started, but it is just the art coat from Stone Coat. We have available on our website, which you can find down at the link below, or just go to... Where am I? This website right here. Doink, 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 doink. Um, everyone's saying hi to you, my bee. Hello, Robin. hello, hello. So, when we were in Australia, Janice showed me an abstract painter's work, and I'm real iffy on abstract. Like, I know that resin is kind of included in the abstract. Um, umbrella, plume, blanket. Um, but I look at that different because you have to have actual science and know certain color manipulation. That's why Jeff calls oh, resin art color some. manipulation. I know everyone has a different opinion. I respect some. everyone's and they're going to respect mine because we're fam. So, um, his name is somewhere. <gasps> It's okay, Moose. Jonas Gerard. But I really like the movement in some of his pieces, and I'm going to try to replicate that. I don't want you to be like, oh, like, what are you doing? Anyways, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. What are you doing? I don't sound like that. No, you don't. It's too blown out and bright. Anyways, check him out. Um, some of this stuff is way all over the place, but... Um, Cujo! What's he doing? What is it? He just peed on my chair. What was that? That's not going to focus. No. Anyways, I really like the movement in some of his negative space work. Oh, he has a playpen. So. Oh, thanks for you and your daughter watching us. Anyways, you guys, um, that's what I'm going to try to do ish. Can you spray a gloss color coat over a white base? Is it opaque? What do you mean spray like airbrush or what are we talking here? I think he does Java. Anyways. Hey Kelly. I think you commented on something I posted on Facebook, but I haven't been on this afternoon. Thank you, Scarlett. Spray can. So like spray paint, Carol? Aww. We love you too. So, is it Kinley and Christy, my mom? Did I say Kinley right? Um, is the spray paint opaque? Can you spray a gloss color coat over a white base? Are you going to resin on it, Carol? Huh? Cause it's, it's going to be hard for me to know exactly what she's trying to do without a picture, but if I can figure it out, and um, I will be happy to help. So, if it's Rustolium gloss. I forgot my last question. So is the yes because you're going to use it with resin or is the yes because it's transparent? Hmm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing my color. Hi, Angie. And I am using colors outside of my regular everyday life, which has me really nervous. Because, I don't know if y'all know this, but me and yellow do not hang out. I'm not sure transparent just says gloss. So, if you're going to spray it over a white and it's, it would say transparent if it was transparent. It doesn't matter what your base is. If it's opaque, you're not going to be able to see it anyways. The thing about gloss is you have to be careful that um lost my train of thought you have to be careful because gloss paints don't have that much tooth for your um, resin to stick to so you may get pitting because it's a gloss rather than a flat for a flat spray paint it's got something to grip onto so your risk of pitting and things like that are less so this is actually a little bit more purpley in real life. Usually Lucia is better, yeah. This is more accurate. It's actually really, really close. This is deep magenta. I'm not sure where all the Mottis are. Scar pulled off the yellows today. Scarlet, did you do yellows today? Gloss spray can turn ugly. Had it happen, wasn't good. I almost always exclusively use flats. I will tell you though that if you want to do some of the um, techniques that, like, for example, Stone Coat does when he mixes his white into the resin and then does the alcohol spritz over it or whatever color he decides to use that day. Um, that is a gloss and I have tested it. It does react differently in resin than a flat spray paint. So if that's what you're using your spray paint for, make sure it's glossy. It is not cherry red. That is deep magenta by just resin. Oh, Game of Thrones is tonight. I feel very replaced. Sippy sippy for those watching Game of Thrones instead of more. But I think this is the last one. I was about to say that I'll go early since um, that's usually on Sunday. I think it's the last one. Oh, Margaret's recording it. Thank you, Joe Fish. So this color looks a little bit bluer than it actually is. It's like a darker Tiffany. But I'm gonna show you on this camera because it's usually, yep, that's more accurate to the color. But the name of it is Bermuda Bay. Last color I'm using is yellow fluorescent by Just Resin. It is a fluorescent color and also all of their fluorescents are slightly transparent or translucent, if you will. As with all my colors, I mix it up, stir it up just a little bit before I pour with it. Just so I can make sure that all the goodness that's in this jar is equal and everywhere. So what's up, Rod? Um, Jeff has done a pour with warm neutral tones. Since this is translucent, I'm gonna load it just a little bit more because I don't want it to get lost. 
keeping in mind that if I add too much, it's gonna turn into marshmallow fluff. Having said that, most transparents are thinner, so you can add a little bit more without the risk of it thickening up on you. Right, Java? What's up, Ocean? Oh, thanks, Scarlet. So, I'm also gonna do some this white, and Jeff has left the lid off. Did you leave the lid off of this for something important? Where? This white? I don't think we have any more right now, though. That I know of. So I'm trying to pull some of those wide out without getting any of the chunks, as it were. Hi, Leslie. How are things down under today? If I get any chunks, I'll just remove them. And the black. That I could feel it moving. Cute, cute, cute. I know. Hey. It's actually not raining here today. It was quite lovely. I think it's on one. I just would hate for his tail to get caught in the box thing. What? Is anything to get caught in his box fan? Gonna get caught in that box fan. Look at all this gold. Hey, Bobos. I did mix a little bit of just resins titanium into this white concoction, and that is because it's a brighter white than stone coats. And I wanted to make sure it's opaque. Easy moves. We, it's snowing in my corner of Lake Superior. That's insane. It's like I tell you. 75 today. Insane Calm down, Moose. It's okay. It was like 90. That's what I said. It says 75. Mm, I don't remember that. Ready? We didn't get storms today. Yesterday. Yesterday was in CERN. Hi, Mattify. Welcome to the channel. Channel. Welcome to the channel. 90 in Austin. Mary, Jeff was in Austin today for about 27 seconds. We would have gotten in trouble if we had stayed there longer. That is such fact. I've never even heard more fact than that fact. You're like, babe, you're gonna have to send us an Uber. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Uber from Austin to Dallas. I don't even want to know. They wouldn't go that far. No, they drove down. They had to pick up some wheels for. Gabe, our... Gabe bought some wheels for his car. I hope I didn't put too much. I think I did. Put too much of that black into this. Well, I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. I'm 
may still be too much, but we will see. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but we're gonna find out together. Oh, I thought of something. Mm. We can do a day where we just answer questions from YouTube comments. Q and A day? No, just answering questions from comments. Like we just read them and we say the person's name and what video it was and you say this is what we've done or this is what you should do or that sounds awesome. Thanks. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for your feedback. Bless your heart, maybe. A couple so times. no new questions, only existing. Yeah. I mean, that way, if somebody doesn't know to answer that, that ask that question, then somebody did and would be like, hey, and then that way we can answer them on there and we can answer them live. So people, maybe because some people are shy and don't want to ask questions. That's true. <sighs> people's, people, they shot me. I am currently nervous. What are you going to do? Something different. Did you not make enough resin? Mm. Everyone's saying that's an excellent idea. scared it's a bad idea uh, you already did it you better go better do it your white is spilt or whatever that is oh. I had this laying on your piece I wanted you to get freaked out I was gonna do this it didn't even look like it though it's like warped oh, it doesn't from right there yeah you're like what is that what are those Thanks, y'all. I have a question. Is the white you're using gonna help not get cells? Cause I had, I see white makes super cells. So Amanda, the white that I mixed is going to make cells, but I have mixed in a little bit of the other brand the just resins titanium white as well to make it a little bit more opaque and to brighten the white because the stone coat base tint white is a little bit translucent unless you put almost too much of the paint in there and i don't want to blow it out so so yeah boys No way. <clears throat> it's so weird not having the clear down already. So are you going to make more clear? Probably, but undecided. So what are you going to do with that negative space? Oh yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm trying to make movement that's not too specific and i'm realizing to movement without movement no i want to create movement that's not that's like i planned it to, exactly like this right, that's a perfect way to um whoops describe everything and nothing abstract art oh i'm in hot water and you're going to jump in with that comment you're in hot water when I said all that about abstract art, you were like, mm, 
So I'm having to mix up a little bit more resin. So I had 10 ounces, which should be enough for this piece, but because I didn't make leave enough for the clear, I'm having to mix a little bit more. Well, and you only used probably an ounce for each color on there. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sherry. I mean, it just goes to show how much paint you barely use for like negative space stuff. Yeah. Good boy, Cujo. Let him chew on that. Good boy. Would a clear create a whole different dimension? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, on the shirt. Two for sure. No, he's not even going after you. He's just trying to chew the thing. He's trying to he chew his. Boy. The babes are good. They're arguing over a chewy that Cujo isn't even interested in right now, but he's just too close. So. He's in the vicinity. Mm hmm. What are you going to do with that black? Hmm? We can do that black. Put it in there. <laughs> hey everybody! Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, I'm having to mix up more resin. Sorry, 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 sorry. The struggle. The struggle. I don't think you have to be monetized to get a bell, but if, if you can't figure out any reason why you don't have a bell, Scarlet, that might be why, but I want to say that that's not, I think I just made that up. I don't think that's accurate. The whole body is like, come on. Hopefully by the end of it, it's, it'll look like a whole bunch of things and also nothing, because abstract. Yeah, it's good. You can't see the piece anymore, but you can see me, but it's the overhead, so. Yeah. As Canadians and Brits, any excuse for fireworks? Do, listen. Maybe you stirred that enough. You don't know about that till you get into the dirty south of the U.S. U.S. full do not need a reason for fireworks. Huh, B. So I didn't put the clear down first because I wanted these colors to stick in these areas. Because if you put just the clear down first and then your tinted resin then it's just going to glide over everything which is the point of putting clear down but if you want it to stick then you have to put um it directly on the canvas yeah do do all that as surrounding and then go in and fill those colors well babe you were going right next to it so i didn't want you to ruin your space thank you bowie do y'all hear that? He's sleeping. That was the sound of vicious. He's sleeping. Can you just leave him alone for two seconds? Let him meme me for a minute, baby Bowie. Guess that's a no. Bowie has no fear, and Cujo, when he's not having it, no one's having it. Now look at what your mom is doing. One day you can do that. So, how hot can your room be when working with resin? My garage gets hot in the summer. So if it's really hot, it's just going to decrease your working time a little bit. 
It's not the worst thing um, when you have a resin that has a long working time, but it's definitely something you want to be cautious about if you're working with a resin that's um, short pot life. I don't have all the little gaps and things filled in. I'll get to it. Hey, Shy. Let's see. I didn't heat up any of the resin yet, so I can tilt it and it's really not gonna move that much yet, which is one of the great things about having a low viscosity resin, which Stone Coat is. I may keep that one. I may completely lose it. Yellow is just my accent color. I just want it in some areas. <sighs> this is stressful. Look how bright that yellow is. I know, it's crazy. Y'all, we just got that in too. There are two left as of right before this feed. So when we were in Australia teaching, we discovered that a lot of people still use a blow dryer as their heat. That'll work, but if you don't want... Okay, so my usual reason for having any heat is to just pop the air bubbles. And if you're using a blow dryer for it to get hot enough in an area to pop bubbles, it's going to be pushing a lot. So... It's gonna move everything that you've done. Just keep that in mind if you're using a blow dryer and are very dedicated to not using a torch or a heat gun. Leave it alone, Bobos. Here. You can have this and then one of those blue Jagerbaum cups. This is new jam. So the blue is Bermuda Bay by Just Resin. I only got six of these bad boys in. I don't know how many are still in right now. Sippy, sippy, resin style. Oh, really? You're just gonna take and run? That's how he do sometimes. I'm not gonna get crazy with the swipes because I don't know that it's gonna fit this style, but I do want some cells, so. I'm trying to figure out what direction I want anything in. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of magenta there to pull through. Does it show up? It's just blown out. There was a troll. I missed him. Look at that yellow selling. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, boys. Bowie, leave him alone. Bowie. I was really iffy on if I'd like this yellow. Digging it. James. Did you say Rick James? So it turns out I'm doing a lot more swiping in this piece than I initially wanted to at all. However, I'm not mad with the direction this piece is going right now. Not sure about that swipe, but we'll come back to it. We'll revisit. One day I'm gonna be true to myself and not like just add the color and just let it live. Yellow is supposed to be just like an accent, but it's slowly becoming my favorite color in this entire piece. So I'm trying to figure out a motion that'll continue on with the flow of the piece without interrupting what I have going on. Since I have swipes coming from basically everywhere, you know. Okay. Let's bring it out of this white. Thanks for talking amongst yourselves, y'all. Super helpful when I'm trying to like figure something out. First run style.
That's the sound of Bowie being in something he's not supposed to be in. However, I can't tell you what it is. Oh, it's just, it's fine. I love when I can work my way around a piece and then come back and see what it's done while I've been distracted in other areas. It's one of my favorite parts about doing artwork that does this. Right, Heidi? Same. Yeah, I wish you guys could see what the yellow looks like under the black light. It actually looks really, really neat. So I'll be definitely doing a true color video of that for you guys. For sure. So now I'm pretty happy with all of what's going on over here. I do think this is kind of a dead spot, but I may need to leave it for balance on the busyness versus some flat, calm areas. This part now I'm very concerned about. I'm not sure if I'm gonna swipe over. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that quite yet. Thank you. Thanks y'all, thanks y'all. So I'm gonna give you a close up and show you just a little bit of what's happening right now. If it'll focus. That's looking really good. Focus. Those like little trail aways are fun. What else we got going on over here? Those are really fun. Super fun. It's one of the first swipes. Okay, see how that blue is selling like that? That's because I picked up some of that white and clear and went over. And that's what that's from. This is the part I'm thinking about redoing. All of that part. Ooh, those are fun. Love. That may be my favorite part. Like if I could just blow that up as a macro, which I still might do. Thanks, y'all. Aw, oh, thank you, Miss Andrews. Y'all let me know what you think about this. I don't really feel like it fits. Maybe I'll just pull some out this way. Maybe I'll swipe over it completely. What do y'all think about this? I'm still gonna fix this. glad y'all agree. Let me figure out what I'm going to do with this. So here's my dilemma with this right here. So if I pull it this way, it's going to interrupt this. Not that it's um, really a um, All right, let me just interrupt myself real quick. 
So, see how these cells look really nice? They're whole, they're not in focus, but when they are, they're circular-ish, right? These ones, with all the black in them, are getting kind of fuzzy, where there's a lot of the black, and that is gonna be from having too much of the base tint in there. So what I did just now is mix a little bit of the clear into my black so I can make it more of a sturdy color. So with this part, can't go this way because it'll interrupt this outward motion. So I'm gonna put some more aqua right here and pull it this way. Not aqua, Bermuda. Yeah, that's what it is from the babe. I got ripped up. I have a bunch of little tiny ones here. I'm just making sure I have no like empty areas. I thought I put some yellow over here, but I think it has gotten lost. Okay. Y'all, I think they're actually playing. I am currently running three cameras. One, two, and three. Um, that's as many USB outlets I, as I have right there. Bowie's going ham and Cujo is not killing him, so I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let them live. I love Bird of Paradise, so I'm down for that. This looks a little bit disjointed, so I'm going to try to incorporate that a little bit better. You should totally start your own channel. I will absolutely give you any knowledge that you may need from me. I mean, I'm not all-knowing by any means, but anything I can assist with, I'm happy to share. scrape that off what do y'all think it's my pleasure I couldn't have done it with the help of people and my pleasure I 
me to do something about this. Now I'm just going to fill that area back in with clear. No harm, no foul. It's like it never happened. And that's one of the great things about resin that gives you a long working time is you can go back in and fix things you don't like or adjust things. It's awesome. So this is the last bit I think that I'm going to work on. Hey Misty! Wasn't that a cool trick? I showed um, Deborah in, where was Deborah? Albury, I think. She had a part that was just giving her all of the trouble and I was like, step aside, ma'am. Let me show you what I do when that happens to me. Whoosh. Mind blown. all of that thanks shy so I don't want to interrupt these guys or this right here so I'm gonna have to be very particular about my method here I think I'm gonna go a long ways just so that I can push it kind of a little bit this way Didn't heat it before I started this swipe, so I'm gonna have to go slower than I would otherwise pull. There. Now we'll see what that does. Now I have this disjointed area, so I'm probably gonna pull one more out this way. But let's see what happens when we put some heat on it. Oh yeah, Shy? So when you use the base tint, you don't want to add that much heat because it will absolutely kill your piece because it'll melt away things. Not sure how I'm going to do this, but we're going to try it together. I accept. There's always about seven people that do a thumbs down for me. I'm pretty sure it's always the same seven people. And it's like, as soon as I post a video, it's instant. Like they follow me just to give me a thumbs down. And nobody apparently has told them yet that that's viewer interaction it actually helps me it doesn't hurt me at all so up your nose with a rubber hose so you guys may have noticed that i cut in that part and pulled it back out this way and that is because if I were to just have rounded it out, then it would have just been another circle blob here, right? So I also couldn't just start here and swipe because that would have left a hard edge right here where I pulled through those colors. But if you grab some of the colors, bring it into what you're doing, and then pull it out, it'll make it look like it was intentional from the start. You're welcome. I think so, Shy. No. Up your nose with a rubber hose. It was John Travolta. I think it was Welcome Back, Carter.
and it's my pleasure it's what i'm here for is to show you guys what i do and hopefully it helps you to create the best art that you guys can create Yeah, I was born, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. Hefe is taking a nap, or I would ask him. Jellyfish, thank you so much. So I'm pulling this off because this corner over here was basically pulled off. And Law of Symmetry says I should probably do that over here too. I don't think it's the Law of Symmetry. I think it's like the Law of Quadrants. I don't know. It's beyond my my pay grade. Or above my pay grade. Part is really getting to me. But I will figure it out. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to give you guys a little ride with, you know, so, okay. Okay. Let me tell you what's bugging me about this piece and you can tell me if I'm just an absolute loon or not. I won't get my feelings hurt. I like how this is coming out and coming back in. In fact, I'm gonna try to incorporate this type of swipe and some new stuff. Aw, give Kinley a hug for me. What's up, Mara? Um, I wish I had something like that here because it looks kind of void and a little bit too symmetrical. What do y'all think? I don't know what I would do in that area, but I do know that it's bugging me slightly. Where do y'all sit with that? Let me give you guys a ride on Lucy. Hey, Sue. where that black was too too much it's the cells are kind of melting away a little bit this, this is the offensive area calm down miss it's okay um yes trying a different way to negative space even though i 
don't know that it's really that different. Ultimately, since I ended up swiping the whole thing anyways, because I was going to just leave the bars of color. I gotta do something there. I don't know what. Let me just try something, and if we don't like it, we'll scrape it off, right? Right. So I need to pick up some color. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's pick this up and add a little red to it. Oh, I know I'm probably overthinking it. It's a gift and a curse. If it doesn't work out, we'll just scrape it off, right? Right. I don't know how I'm gonna do this either. So I picked up some color on the end of this swiping paper because I'm not gonna pull. I like how all of it looks, but I need something here. So. I'm gonna just come in as if all of these came off and came back in a little bit. It may absolutely not work, so. Y'all don't hold me to this actually working. Tracy, if it doesn't work, I'll scrape it off. Because what if it does work? Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Because what I'm going to do is, whoop, I'm going to swipe it up and come back a little bit. So I want to follow this flow. It's up to y'all. Oops. Scrape it. Or does it fit? I know, Shy, it's true. Sweating bullets. Toby, the Just Rose and Gold should have landed like a week ago. I almost agree, Shy, except for it was part of the original um, I think it came in after I showed the original that I was looking at for reference. So, let me take a true color video real quick. This piece is available for purchase. I don't think I've ever had so many different colored cells. It's my favorite bit. I even have like clear cells. What is that? Ninja. Hmm? Let me get a shot fireball. Okay. This little bit that we just added makes me want to do like a watermelon pour. Clara Lawrence. We haven't even, look, this is maybe, that's right about half. All 
All right, y'all. I'm going to post this to ATD's Poor People real quick. How much, Miss E? What do we usually charge for 1224s? 150? Thank you, Scarlett. It's too late now. I don't know if I can take that out, Scarlett. go I probably will Doris I must picked up with something else is this mine no uh -uh. I was gonna give that to you so you mm -hmm. can give it to somebody else like something interesting that's photographed in National Geographic I accept I know this one's to y'all Date night with the fam. Sippy, sippy. Sip, Tink. sip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at this shot glass. <laughs> yep. Agreed, Moo. Why is that so... Let me check, Sue, one second. I can't even see. Pretty cool, huh? Well, you got some black over here? Spilt? Oh, it did. Bowie. It says 216, Aussie. What did I say? What did US, what did I say US? 150? 150 US. Yeah, that translates into 216.98 Australian at the current conversion rate, according to Google. I'm thinking 400 US. Well, this is a smaller piece. It's only a 12 by 24 inches. So it's a foot by two feet. I cannot tell you what that means in um, European measurements, AKA centimeters. All right, I'm gonna go take this to the dust-free area real quick because if people are actually interested, I don't wanna mess up it. Here it is. Minute, talk to the camera. a clean empty space. I have a little resin left over so I'm gonna just put it on something. What is this? Something that should have more resin on it. Aw thanks Lisa.